Hey, what's up, YouTube Marvel fans? It's Double Eighty here with a look at. I don't even know what this is called. This is the Iron Man First Strike Assault Jet. And right off the bat, I realized I put the back wings upside down. So let's pop these off real quick. Oh, there you go. That makes better use of the front landing gear. There you go. Like Nice. All right. <clears throat> I mean, I usually do tr Transformers in DC. Never really that much Marvel. I stopped collecting Marvel after Marvel Universe slowed down extremely, and you know, I just sold it off because I needed room. Um, first of all, I want to say I'm sorry to the Marvel fans out there that they have the Avengers toys to continue their collection with. Because <laughs> they're fucking horrible. The figures, the 6-inch figures, whatever, 12-inch, whatever they are, they're extremely bad. They're meant for children, Ex like little children. They're so bad. They're n nowhere near Marvel Universe quality. And I feel your pain. Just want to say, because it's garbage. I'm going to start off with the, the figure. It has a nice glossy paint job, I must say. And it has a better paint job than the figure that came with the mech tech suit, even though this has more articulation, you know, but the paint job is better, it's, I don't know, it's just cleaner looking, it's not all like smudged on like nail polish, like the rest of the figures look like, um, his arms move up and down, oh, excuse me, his legs go like this, and his head goes left and right, he is a stiff ass, Best at 1990s figure. Okay? Going backwards, Hasbro. Congratulations. The jet? The jet's pretty decent, I'm not gonna lie. Got some nice paint, caution, intake, you know. I don't think a superhero needs to be cautious with the intake. You know, they're superheroes. But no step on the wing. You know, it's got some detail. It's got some nice paint apps. The cockpit opens. It's got a little nice, it's actually got a display with a picture on it, so I, I'll give them that. They, they did a good job on the vehicle, but they could have thrown in a better figure. Even this figure would have been better than that stiff-ass fuck. Iron Man with rigor mortis. Um, it's got a little twirly missile launcher going on. And, you know, wow, that shit shot out pretty hard. Poke child's out with this bad boy, man. I'm surprised thing ain't rubber. Is there anything pointy that you could poke an eye out with these days is rubber. Because, you know, the retarded-ass kids with parents that don't teach them anything like to dab themselves with sharp objects. Um, the fans move in the back. You know, you lift up and go forward, you know. Or if you're sitting on a nice beach, you know, a nice breeze sitting behind it. Um, it's got one landing gear in the front and in the back rest on the wings, which if this was a real vehicle, I'm sure the wings would break from the weight of the thing, but it's not, so we're safe. Um, the plastic, the gray plastic, it's not paint. I guess I don't think it's paint, is it? Oh yeah, it is paint. The gray is paint, well, at least for the top part. I don't know, it's confusing. It's paint on some parts and it's plastic on other parts, but it looks, it's really nice, actually. And given that, they did a good job on the vehicle. But this sucks. This, this, this figure sucks. Here, I'll even put them in there for you so you can see Iron Man. Now, why would Iron Man fly this if his suit can fly? Wouldn't this be more for, like, Hawkeye or Wolverine? You know, a character that can't fly? That's like Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman can fly, but she has an invisible jet. I mean, invisible jet comes in handy because you're invisible. But, whatever. Um, there she go. What else can I say? He sits in there pretty decently. So you can do your little barrel rolls. I don't know. Whatever you do with your toys. Um, yeah. <clears throat> so, I think this thing was $19.99 or... 25 bucks, something like that. 
it's worth it for a cool vehicle, I guess. But the figure, I mean, if you're buying it for your Marvel Universe collection, and you're throwing it in as a, you know, because they didn't really make any vehicles for that line. It, it's worth it. I can see it, you know. And, you know, people with, you know, some artistic skills with paint and shit, you know, make it a little nicer. But, yeah, it's worth it. So there you go, Marvel fans. Enjoy. Go and buy yourself a hover jet thing. Take it easy.